All right, welcome everyone to another edition of Wrestling with Minecraft. We are here on the ftwcraft.org server, and uh, we're going to be refurbishing the market square. I'll walk you guys through that. If it's been a while, you haven't seen the server yet. Uh, I haven't seen the server in a while, at least. Um, and we're also going to be talking about the whole drama surrounding TM, uh, you know, the TMZ report that Spike TV and TNA are no longer an item, and in October, uh, TNA will be officially off of Spike TV. So we're going to talk about what that means, uh, what kind of opportunities are out there, and whether or not uh, it's all doom and gloom. The uh, death to TNA uh, guys are back out on the internet, so we're going to discuss whether or not we think um, this is this is a uh, this is a bad thing. So, anyways, before we get totally into that whole thing, uh, like I said, we're going to be refurbishing, uh, just doing some some maintenance to the overall uh, market square, and. Uh, basically, if you guys have been following the FTW Craft uh, channel on on YouTube, it's youtube.com forward slash play FTW Craft. If you've been following that, you guys know that we, uh, we're, we're basically in the process of changing up the server so that um, we're going to go from Bucket and Spigot uh, using like the Essentials plugins and grief prevention, all kinds of cool plugins that we were basically used to. Uh, we're going to switch from that to using uh, vanilla. So lots of lots of changes need to be made on our end. And I'm looking for food. Uh, let's let's get some pie. So um, yeah, lo lots of changes need to be done on our end. But uh, today we're just going to be d walking through some uh, just some visual stuff. Uh, the, the the reason why we're switching servers is because we're not servers, but uh, you know, jumping on the vanilla bandwagon is because you know uh, we're currently on 1.7.5, and and actually I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a few of these with me, um, and while it's great to be able to have access to the the plugins that we do. Um, you know, everything that has occurred after 1.7.5 has, like, introduced so many different new blocks that we've never been able to, uh, work with. Andesite, granite, uh, marble, uh, we, we now have slime blocks and, uh, different types of, of, of dirt, um, slime, I said slime box, um, and then now we're getting rabbits and there's, Water guardians and all kinds of cool stuff that we will we will pretty much never be able to play with as long as we uh, stick with um, as long as we stick with uh, bucket buckets already. Uh, I mean, we're still at 1.7.5, uh, 1 1.8 for vanilla is supposed to be released very soon. We're we're going to be jumping on the snapshot to just. Get started, but what that means is um, our shops. You know, a majority of our shops are using the essential signs, and uh, we are no longer going to be able to do that. So everyone's going to be uh, jump into the chest shop if they're going to continue to to shop. But regardless, that's not what we're doing today. Today, we're basically uh, we've been doing a, a lot of stuff off camera, but I've changed up the square. Uh, we've got like a nice dirt path. Um, it's actually uh, stained clay. Um, and I've got uh, a, a ring around the... Uh, like, a, like, a, like a barrier, basically. And this one actually doesn't belong here. Uh, I've got a nice barrier here. Uh, actually, we can keep that. Sorry. Um, as far as like a border, we've got the border of uh, stone slabs. And then there's like an additional border of... Uh, oak leaves, oak and jungle leaves that we're using as bushes. We're gonna, we're going to continue to plant uh, a few trees around, but also just put some more, some more bushes in here. So, um, okay. So, while we're doing that, though, let's talk about, uh, <laughs> let's talk about the whole, um, the whole situation with with uh, with Spike TV. Um, 
the the news is out. Uh, as far as you know, we're we're going by one source. Um, everyone who is um, used to this type of news, you normally have two or three groups reporting it um, and saying that you know they've talked to their sources or whatever. Um, we we don't necessarily have that this time. This time it's uh, we've got TMZ. TMZ is the single source that's reporting it. So not trying to suggest that it, it's incorrect in any way, but you know just pointing out that um, a lot of us are uh, a lot of us are you know depending on TMZ for this story so whatever whatever that means just throwing it out there uh, but the story is that Spike TV went to TNA and said that they would not uh, be renewing the contract so therefore uh, basically canceling it uh, canceling the the show so obviously uh that's that's bad <laughs> you know there's no there's no positive you can take out of the fact that tna um has just lost uh you know a, a huge source of their main income uh spike tv from everything that we know uh, basically financed a majority of TNA's product. Um, so for TNA to lose something like that, um, it, it obviously throws a curveball, curveball that I don't think anyone is really expecting. But at the same time, um, you know, just thinking past conversations that, that, that we've had uh, on, on FTW and past conversations that uh, we've seen on Reddit and uh, that we've had in, in our Facebook group and uh, on Wrestling News Source as well. Uh, it, it, it does seem like a, a lot of fans understand and, uh, you know, pointed out that overall Spike TV really wasn't that good of a fit for TNA. Uh, TNA, uh, you know, while, while, Spike TV seemed to work for a for WWE when WWE was on there. Um, in that, you know, it, it, the thing was was that WWE already had the audience; they already had a built-in revenue stream because um, their audience was so huge. And TNA did not. And the difference between and, and why that's important, why why that note is important, is because. Uh, a majority of our complaints about Spike TV was the fact that Spike TV never really went out of their way to um, to promote TNA. Actually, they they used TNA <laughs> because TNA was their number one show. Uh, they used TNA to promote their other show, sh their other shows like Bellator, uh, like anything else. So it, it's it's really odd uh, that. You know, Spike TV made this decision. It's almost as if Spike TV is going to be changing. Um, you know, there's no one really talking about that yet, but it's it's quite possible that this move was made because TNA is going to change the type, or I'm sorry, that Spike TV is going to change the type of of, of programming that they're going to be offering. So uh, just you know, throwing a different different look at at the whole situation. Yes. It's bad for TNA. Yes, it, it does look strange for Spike TV to drop pretty much their number one uh, program each week. Um, but obviously there's something else going on here. Um, what I've read this morning, pretty much, uh, the entire comment threads on, on Wrestling News Source, um, our, our Facebook page, and sorry, I'm just... Jump into another window, real quick, just to just to pull up these comments. But uh, it seems like everyone, <laughs> uh, like all of the, you know, TNA is dying. Um, this is going to be the end of TNA. Uh, those people have have come back out of the woodwork. Um, they 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 had pretty much disappeared once. Um, you know, it was pretty certain that TNA wasn't dying. <laughs> 
uh, you know, after all of all of the all of the news as far as them losing money and all that stuff. And sure, it's probably true. It's probably true that they uh, were losing money, but for them to survive as long as they did really um, did make it uh, less. Uh, um, how, how should I word this? Less, uh, less a fact that they were dying. So it, I, I don't know. It seemed like a lot of the the TNA is gonna die. Uh, guys had disappeared for for a while. Now they're back. Whatever. So at the end of the day, though, um, you know this isn't this isn't bad for TNA. And why did I do that? Why did I? Oh, right, 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 right. Because we got to change this. Um, this isn't bad for TNA. Like I said, we've, we've complained for so long that, uh, TNA really wasn't getting the, uh, the respect or the time from Spike TV that they should have. Um, instead Bellator was getting uh, a lot of it or, uh, you also had, uh, there was another show. I can't remember what it was now. It's been so long. Uh, but just other programming was piggybacking basically on uh, on Spike TV's number one show, which was Impact. So, uh, which just meant that the audience was never going to grow. Sure, you know, when WWE was on Spike TV, they had an audience. Spike TV didn't really have to put uh, as much effort into uh, helping helping WWE grow their product. WWE's product was already grown. Um, their audience was going to carry over. TNA, on the other hand, didn't have that. Um, they they really required... Uh, man, I need dirt. Uh, they, they really required Spike TV to put time into it and to not just fund it financially, but, you know, try to grow the audience. And... Um, that's something that they, they, they never really did. On the other hand, look at all of the other networks that, that TNA has uh, has started oh shoot, started a relationship with. Challenge TV in the UK just just signed a new deal with Spike or with, uh, with, with TNA. Then you have uh, all the deals that they did overseas in Japan uh, in. Come on, break. There we go. Um, all the deals that they did in the UK, uh, India, they TNA is doing really well overseas. They lost their the U.S. market though. So while that is bad for sure, it's not the end of the world. TNA can bounce back, and that's something that you know we need to keep in, in mind is just how much TNA has grown outside of the U.S. Um, there's no way that losing Spike TV is the the death nail. Uh, it's interesting for sure. It, it definitely does uh, put put TNA in a spot where um, you know they have to figure out something. They have to do something. So, uh, but yeah, overall. So th that that's my general thought uh, about this whole thing. While, um, while it does make me nervous, it does make me nervous of how we're going to watch it come October. There's plenty of opportunity. You know, other companies have to see TNA doing well. Over, you know, the overseas market is not is not the only gauge here. I mean, look at look at the overall programming uh, on Reddit. I have rarely ever seen positive commentary about TNA, but even on Reddit people are stepping up and noticing how good the product has been as of late uh, I was at the I was at one of the spike TV or at the God bless it, one of the uh, the impact tapings at New York uh, Lee from wrestling news source and I we both went to uh, the Thursday taping we originally thought it was gonna be a live taping but it wasn't so anyways uh, and the crowd was just amazing. And everything we heard about the crowd from Wednesday uh, was the same thing. Um, and just how how into the product everyone was. And um, also, 
Uh, we, we saw the same thing on Friday. So Friday was sold out. Thursday was sold out. Uh, Wednesday was a near sellout. So, uh, you know, that's, that's an incredibly great sign. And for anyone to, to look at that and look at Spike TV as the, as the death nail, I think, is missing, uh, is missing what TNA is doing overall and why TNA is in a better spot now knowing that uh, knowing that Spike TV and them will not continue I think they're in a better spot now to succeed because they'll they'll be able to partner with that new network whoever that is and and hopefully the the, the new the new network treats them properly and promotes them promotes that they're hosting their shows um, yeah so anyways I think uh, I think overall uh, we're gonna we're gonna cut this uh, this video kind of short. I know we uh, what we normally do uh, for these is we try to do both wrestling and Minecraft talk, uh, but I think for today's purposes uh, we're just gonna end it here, and uh, hopefully next time we'll we'll do a little bit of both. We'll play uh, we'll play Minecraft, talk about some stuff coming out in Minecraft, and what what we're doing with it. And uh, as well as the general wrestling scene. So, anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Later.